the sig fig rules when you're adding or subtracting is not about the number of sig figs in your measurements. Rather, it's about where the last digit falls, uh, what placeholder is it in. So if you look at A, these three measurements, the least precise are both of these because their final digit, um, the, the more right to you, uh, the, what is that? Say? The more right you go um, in the measurement of these digits, the more precise it is. So this one goes farther to the right. It goes to the hundredths place, right? Where 61.2 and 8.6 only measure to the tenths place. So these are less precise, right? So those are those measurements are going to restrict the precision of your answer, right? So let's add them up. Let's see what we get. All right, 61.2 plus 9.35 plus 8.6, I get 79.15. So 79.15 is what your calculator uh, shows what your calculator it doesn't know what sig fig rules are, right? But because of these two measurements who only have precision to that tenths place, your answer can't have anything past that, right? But do look past it because that might round that last digit up, and it does. So it's uh, 79 Point two, and don't forget your units here is uh, meters. There's your answer to A. Let's move on to B. All right, now B, uh, they have the same number of uh, digits past the, past the decimal, so they both have precision to the hundredths place. So um, your answer also has, it's not going to have more than that because they, they neither of these do. All right, so 9.44 minus 2.11 is 7.33, and that's your final answer. Uh, 7.33 and meters again. All right, you're adding or subtracting units, it's going to be the same unit. Now, on to C. Uh, so, again, why, why are they they're not making it very challenging at all? All right, let's add them up. You don't even need a calculator for this one. All right, so uh, 10 plus 1 is 11, uh, 17 plus 36 is maybe we should use calculator, I think it's 53. 4 plus carry on 53. All right, so 11 plus, uh, let me punch this in my, yeah, is that right? 3, 11, 1, 4, 5, yeah, that's right. All right, so uh, that's it. What is the point of B and C? You didn't need to know any rules to get those numbers. All right, now these, uh, D, you do need to apply some of these rules. All right, so uh, which measurement has less precision? I didn't say which one is the smaller number or the bigger number. Which one has fewer decimal places or uh, has the m most right digit to the, the most left placeholder? That is, uh, was not a good explanation. All right, so this number here, 17.3, that last digit, yeah, there we go. The last digit in the measurement is in the tenths place. This one is in the hundredths place. So this is a better measurement. Right, we have to um, have an answer that is uh, that matches the uh, placeholder of the worst measurement, and that's this measurement here. That's worst. All right, so let's punch this in our calculator: 34.61 minus 17.3. Okay, calculator says 17.31 meters. Now uh, we can't have anything past the tenths place because of this measurement. Uh, does not have uh, precision past the tenths place. So the next number after we peak, it's going to round that down or keep it the same, you can also say. So uh, final answer is 17.3 meters.